faces and your head and so forth. That's the hardest thing in art to do, is paint a face. If you can do a face, you can do anything. I guarantee you that. It is true. It is true. Now, we've done some classes in the past, but this is going to be much more advanced. Okay? So we, we want to talk to you about doing art. Well, what's uh, doing a face. I wouldn't think of that. Okay, now, we're going to do this in two parts. Well, actually three parts. I'm going to give you some basic things. Then I'm going to talk to you a little bit about drawing a face. And then I'm going to switch over and I'm going to do a demo of painting a face. Okay? Now, I kind of did that the other night with Carol and Janice. And they didn't throw me out, so maybe it'll work out. Okay, now... Uh, Over and over again. Okay, now, one thing that that you, you'll always find is that everyone, when they're thinking of a face, they get it all mixed up. They have in their mind what a face looks like. And so, here is what everyone thinks a face looks like. You have a face, and you have the eyes, and the nose, and, okay, and, and, and so here, here are the, the eyes. Now, here's what I want you all to do. I want you, and I'm proving a point, where are the eyes? Well, if you put your thumb here where your eye is and put your finger up here to the top, then if you go like this, guess what? It is right smack in the middle. Yeah. Okay? So, this is, this is something we've got to get away from. Okay? So, I want to talk to you a little bit about where things are on a face. And talk to you about why things happen on the face. So, I'm going to turn my little page. Isn't this exciting? This is my uh, drawing board from See all that? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. But anyway, that's great to be in that. Anyway, okay. Some some little tricks. Noreen, why don't you come sit right up here, okay? Uh, just pull that up. Now, she's gonna be kind of the guinea pig, and also my little friend Herman's gonna be a guinea pig. <laughs> Hi there. Anyway, uh, I had to get this in college. We we worked with skulls, and our instructor actually had a real skull he had dug up in some Indian place, and I thought, ooh. <laughs> but anyway, what I want to talk to you about is, okay, when, I, when you do a face, just to start off, the, the first thing you want to do, and we're not going to get real picky about it, we're just going to say, okay, well, the face is going to be in here somewhere. So I'm just going to draw something there. Now, it might not stick like, you know, that shape, but I want something to start with. And so it's going to go on there. Now, it might just be this much of your head, but we're going to start with that. So we know that the eyes are right smack in the middle. So the first thing you want to do is say, okay, the eyes are going to go on there. Now, when we're doing a straight on on the face, one thing that you want to think is you have a, a straight line. So that's, that's the first thing I kind of do. Even when I'm painting a portrait, I'll do this, I'll do this, and this. Then I know this is where eyes go. The nose is going to go along here and so forth. Now, I'm going to give you some just kind of simplified things right now, but we're going to get a lot more detail. Okay, now. So let's say, okay, the next thing I'm going to put on there are the pupils of the eyes. Okay, well, I can figure that about halfway here is going to be a pupil, and about halfway here is going to be a pupil. Now, the next thing I want to tell you is that halfway between this line and this line, generally, 
is where the bottom of the nose goes. Now, it's not always that way, but generally, this gives you a good idea. So I'm going to come down halfway. Right there is where the bottom of the nose goes. Hey, that rhymes. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so there's the bottom of the nose. So you're going to think half again if you look at the bottom of the nose. And, and between the bottom of the nose and the chin, if you go halfway, what that is, that is where the bottom of the bottom lip goes. Okay? Now that's the bottom of the bottom lip. Okay? Now, I'm going to go on a little further. So we have an eye, and, and I'm going to get into more how to draw eyes and noses and so forth in next classes. Can I move this over a little bit? Most of it's going to get to the back of your head. Yeah, sure. you, you be the, you be the filmer. Yeah. Steve the filmer. <laughs> well, I just need to. Okay, well, that's fine. All right. Now, so as I say, I'm going to show you in next classes how to specifically do eyes, noses, mouths, ears. A little bit. Okay? So, but I'm going to, we're just going to be simple here. So I'm going to say, all right, about right here and right here are going to be the corner of that eye, and right here and right here are going to be the corner of that eye. And for now, we're going to be real simple. Now, I'm looking at Phyllis. She's a perfect model. I ought to have her up here. No? Okay. So what, what, we're, what we'll do at first, uh, just for the sake of the class, is I'm just going to make a little curve right here, and a little curve right here, and a little curve under it, and a little curve under it. Now that's not really how it's going to work, but this is how I want you to envision it. Okay. Now, I want to show you something else. If you, yeah, isn't that so sweet? The next thing I want to show you is, if you look at the pupil, if you go straight down from the pupil, here's this corner. I'm going to come down right here. Here's this corner. There are the two corners of the mouth. Now this is very, very simple, but it's a basic principle for you to start with. We're going to go way past that. But I want you to have something to kind of help you. <coughs> so you know this is up here. You know the nose. You can come straight down here. And here's where the side of this nose goes. Now, obviously it's going to be different because everyone has different noses. Do you remember when we did that class before and we had everybody kind of do a, a side view and painted everybody? And everybody had a different shape of nose. It was so cool. <laughs> it was really fun. There was Phyllis Nose, Steve mm -hmm. Nose, and I don't remember who else, but it's really cool. Okay, <laughs> so that's there. All right, now, the next thing I'm going to now do, when you were looking at a model, I want you to look at the top of the ear. The top of the ear is going to be here and here, and then we do the same thing about the bottom. So I'm going to look and see about where the bottom of her ear goes. Okay. And then let's say this one, the bottom of the ear, comes down here. Now, some people have big ears. I have little ears, and I don't have earlobes. So oh, you I have ears. Hear. I have enough for two people. Okay. <laughs> then you can hear. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So anyway, I know then that I'm going to have an ear here, and I'm going to have an ear here. Okay. So this kind of helps us out a little bit. Now, we're doing starting out very simple, and I'm going to kind of do a few 